Hi, good evening. Welcome to the video lectures from Shivanda Sharma Memorial RV College. This is an ISR initiative. Shivanda Sharma Memorial RV College is one of the premier institutions run by the prestigious RV group of institutions. We have come up with a unique initiative to engage students at the time of this unforeseen medical emergency caused by the corona outbreak. As a socially responsible institution, we would like to connect academically with students to make good the losses caused. In this connection, I, Gokulzi from the Department of BBA, has posted a video on the subject income tax and the topic profits and gains from business and profession, and the subtopic is professional gains. Please watch the video till the end, like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also share this video with your peer groups. Thank you. Uh, this is the last part of the uh, topic income from profession. In, the pre in my previous video lectures, I have discussed about uh, uh, how to calculate the income from profession of uh, lawyers and uh, doctors. Today we come to the last set of professionals that is chartered accountants. So let us go, go through the format quickly. As far as the chartered account is, is concerned, his professional receipts are his audit fees, his uh, income from accounting work, his institute fees, uh, the examiner's fees, uh, gifts from clients if he's receiving anything, any consultancy services that he has done and any other receipts. That's his uh, total professional receipts. What could be his professional expenses, uh, office or institute expenses, cost of books, that is a depreciation part of it. Then motor car expenses relating to professional work, uh, membership fees related to the institute, then uh, depreciation on office equipment, cars, scooters, etc. Office expenditure, uh, other expenditure to enhance his professional knowledge, then stipend to trainees, then subscriptions to uh, journals and magazines related to his profession and then depreciation on office furniture. So this is a gist of his uh, professional receipts minus his professional expenses. That is what you get income from profession. So with that background, let us try to solve a problem here. Let me just read out the problem for you. Let me try to make the font as big as possible so that Mr. Ramarao is a chartered accountant in Mysore. His receipts and payments are as follows. Receipts are on your left hand side. Balance brought down, dividend, professional income, house rent, raise scores, lottery prices. His expenses are salary, rent, telephone charges, professional expenses, motor car expenses, miscellaneous expenses, purchase of car, advance income tax, personal expenses, purchase of professional books, electricity, LIC premium, and balance brought down. Let us go through his uh, the adjustments. Uh, one third of uh, motor car expense related to personal use. Depreciation on motor car allowed is 15%. Rent includes 30,000 paid for residential accommodation. Miscellaneous expenses include donation paid to a notified temple, rupees 20,000. So just like we did in the other video lecture. Let us try to identify uh, the professional receipts and mark them so that it's easy for us to jot it down in the format. Uh, balance brought down to be ignored, nothing to be done. Dividend is not a professional receipt. Professional income, definitely it is a professional receipt. Let us mark it in green. House rent is not a professional uh, receipt. Race course is not a professional receipt. Lottery price is not a professional receipt. They, these two come under other sources and house rent of course comes under house property. So the only professional income that you have is 560,000. Let me write it here. Professional income is the extent of 560,000. Let me reduce the font here. Now that we have read the problem, I think I just reduce the font so that now uh, any adjustments here, anything to be taken, uh, nothing. Now let us run through the professional expenses. Salary is a professional expense. So let us consider that. Salary. lack then rent there is an adjustment on rent what does it say out of 60,000 30,000 relates to 
is residential accommodation. So that cannot be taken as this professional receipt. So only 30,000 has to be considered. So we have taken care of that. Then telephone charges is a pure professional receipt. So whichever had an adjustment, let us put it in yellow. 24,000. Lighter so that it's easier to read. Okay. Telephone charges. Let me put it here. Telephone charges. 4,000. Professional expenses. Professional expenses 20,000 taken care of motor car expenses 48,000 so there's an adjustment motor car expenses how much is it 48,000 so 48,000 into how much is used for professional use? One third is for personal use. That means two third is for professional use. Sorry. Thirty-two thousand is car expenses. We have considered that adjustment here. Miscellaneous expenses. Miscellaneous expenses. There is an adjustment out of thirty thousand. Twenty thousand relates to a donation which has been given to a temple. So we will not consider that. We we need to consider only ten thousand rupees. Then purchase of car one lakh eighty thousand. So let us give a depreciation on car. We are we need to calculate only the depreciation part one lakh eighty thousand into two by three. That is only the profession the extent to which we are using for professional use. And how much is the depreciation on car? Fifteen percent. So how much does it come up to? equals sum of one lakh eighty thousand into two by three into fifteen percent eighteen thousand is this depreciation on car then advance income tax not to be taken personal expenses not to be taken purchase of professional books books it is 40 percent the depreciation so depreciation on professional books is eight thousand into 40 percent that is three thousand two hundred then electricity charges assuming that it is for business use electricity charges LIC premium not considered LIC premium is not considered and uh, balance carry down is also not considered so we have taken care of everything your professional receipts is to the extent of 5,60,000 I have already put a formula here so 
total professional expenses is to the extent of 2,41,200. So your income from profession is to the extent of 3,18,100. 318800. I hope the problem is clear. Okay, uh, let us do a bit of a bit different uh, problem where they give you the income and expenditure account and ask you to calculate the income from profession. Very rare. I have not seen so far. I have not seen any question paper in our syllabus where they have asked this. But uh, having said that, uh, let us try this problem. So it's as good as solving a business uh, problem. Income. Uh, so here, the following is the income and expenditure account of Mr. The Praveen, a chartered accountant, and we give they have given the income and expenditure account. Compute his professional income for the assessment year 2019-20 after considering the below adjustments. The car is used equally for work and professional uh, use. Depreciation allowed for official work is 500 rupees. Employee salary include include rupees thousand paid to domestic servant. Loan taken is for personal use. So I think the only you could. Okay. Now, let us be very clear here. Okay. Now, we need to first thing income and expenditure account. Please understand which side income has to come and which side expenditure has to come. It, it is exactly opposite to your receipts and payments your incomes comes on the right hand side and your expenses come on the left hand side so what you see here is the income and what you see uh, here is the expenses okay having said that uh, how much is the net profit net surplus is nothing but the net profit it is 51000 now what are the inadmissible expenditures that you have to consider inadmissible expenditures uh, let us find out what are the expenses and whichever is not allowed has to be taken here. Remember how we did the business income. Uh, balance brought down can be ignored. Employee salary 5000 but there is an adjustment which says 1000 rupees has been paid to domestic servant. So salary of domestic servant is rupees 1000 which is inadmissible. Then uh, books other than annual publication so we have so that means to say they are general kind of books so that is not admissible books other than annual publication personal expenses definitely not allowed 102000. Then donation to NDF. Donation does not come here. They come under section ET and so we don't have to consider it here. Donation to NDF 500 rupees inadmissible. Then interest on loan. So they have Take, said loan is taken for personal use so interest on loan is also inadmissible income tax not allowed income tax not allowed car expenses car expenses what does it say the adjustment says that uh, the car is used equally for work and personal depreciation allowed for official work is 500 rupees so car expenses is 2000 so that means to say half of it is used for personal uh, work so whatever is used for personal work is not allowed so 1000 rupees is not allowed here so we have taken care of that do we have any admissible expenses not debited to p and l yes we have what is that the adjustment says uh, the car is used equally for work and personal use so whatever was used for personal use to that extent we have added the 
car expenses but we should allow him the depreciation uh, allowed the depreciation allowed for official work is 500 rupees so depreciation on car how much is it 500 rupees so we can allow him that then uh, rest of the adjustments are taken care of do we have any uh, non business income credited to ind account yes let us go to the income part audit fees is purely a professional receipt so you don't have to worry about it. it's a business income gift from father in law is a non business income gift from father in law is a non business income 5050 dividend assuming that it is from a indian company dividend is tax free so 8000 rupees profit on sale of investments is a non business income profit on sale of investment 6450 is a non business income and uh, yeah i think pretty much we are done with this anything else any adjustment to be taken care of i think you have taken care of everything here so your net profit as per uh, income and expenditure was 51000 so the concept of PNL account and income and expenditure is almost the same. So if they are given you income and expenditure account and asking you to calculate the income from profession, do not get confused. Just go back to how you have done your business income problem. Take the net profit and start applying the same format what you applied for your income from business. So add inadmissible expenses as per uh, income and expenditure. So you have taken care of all the expenditures here. You have put what is depreciation allowable is taken as admissible expense. Non-business income is gift from father-in-law and profit on sale of investment. So that is 11,500. Tax free is dividend to the extent of 8,000. Your total, total taxable income from profession is to the extent of 1,55,000. So uh, with this, we have come to the end of both uh, the problems. And thank you so much. Uh, this is the last lecture on uh, profession. Uh, so we have covered all the three types of professions taking two two problems each so in case something is that please do drop your comments and thank you so much